Let's see what we have so far. We have victory. This is a yes. If somebody was at a stalemate across the roads or have it, had a decision to make, um, this is a victory for someone who is in the upright. And this could be um, a decision that's going to release a burden or have someone, you know, feeling carefree, relaxed. Um, you may feel heavily burdened or weighed down. Um, but a decision that's going to be made um, is going to result in a victory for you. Something is ending with the Ten of Swords, so something had to end to give you this victory here. And this is a new cycle with a love offer with the Ace of Cups. So this is a victory for a love offer. And if you're not looking for a love offer, then, you know, <laughs> then don't claim it. It's that easy. <laughs> Someone's upset. So someone's upset all up in their emotions with the Nine of Cups about a love offer and a new beginning, a new cycle someone has coming um, to them because somebody wanted to place heavy burdens on somebody, stop their finances, stop them from moving forward, um, affect their perseverance, to weaken them, keep them heavily burdened um, constantly. And someone is upset about somebody um, getting this offer and these burdens being put to an end. Somebody is going to achieve financial stability, family security with the Ten of Pentacles here. You could be in this energy now, or you could be going towards this. Um, there's a past Ten of Cups, somebody that you could have had a family with um, that does not have a positive outcome. So this person that is upset and all up in their feelings or emotions could be an ex-spouse um, or past relationship. We have a King of Swords in the upright and a Ten of Cups. So this is going to be someone's happiness where this King of Swords is going to be achieving happiness. Um, this person can appear cold-hearted, but they're um, using logic at this time. So they're being very strategic about something at the moment. Um, somebody did not have a victory. So um, the victory for somebody else is defeat or a non-victory, um, a no for somebody else. Um, so this could be... Um, something related to um, a past person. Um, this could be a court situation of you, you know, being in a legal dispute with like a past, um, like an ex, um, ex-husband, wife, something like that. Um, it's a no for somebody because they created an imbalance. And I feel like this was done intentionally. These imbalances were done to cause heavy burdens on somebody and to stop someone from getting an offer, to stop someone from having offers traveling towards them. Um, this could be to keep them alone and isolated, um, to stop them from possibly even finding new love. Yeah, something's being brought to light that someone rushed in with some shady-ass communication. This could be um, lies. The Knight of Wands, um, the Knights can sometimes represent courts. So somebody could have lied regarding a court situation or they just rushed in um, hastily without thinking something through um, with some sort of communication and, and they didn't think that something was going to come to light regarding this communication or information. Somebody was addicted or obsessed with stopping somebody from getting an offer and causing heavy burdens to them. Yeah, and affecting your financial stability. So somebody was obsessed with affecting your finances and keeping you stuck. Um, they used the help of a third party to do this, so they worked with somebody else to do this. You're going to be receiving some sort of communication. I'm hearing clarification. You could be receiving a message. That message can come in various different ways. Um, it could be a literal letter, um, text, phone call, email.
but this communication is not going to make someone else very happy. Someone's rushing in with a knight of swords. Someone's rushing in with some sort of truth. So whatever this communication is regarding, it's involving the truth being spoken about something and the fact that somebody was working with somebody else to stop you from having a new start or new beginning, or um, this can also be an inheritance or a large lump sum of money, um, but somebody was working with somebody else to stop you from getting this Ace of Pentacles here. So somebody didn't want you to be able to move forward with somebody else. Um, so this could be more towards um, starting a new job or making a move or having a relationship. Yeah, somebody was a gold digger. So somebody didn't want you to move or travel um, because they wanted your time, money, energy, resources. They had... Um, plans to take something that didn't belong to them and whatever it is that they plan to take you have it so you have something that this person wants and they were trying to keep you stuck to get it so somebody was very jealous and envious the king of cups this is the person who rushed in and did something really um, impulsively without thinking it through. This is somebody who was not very loving or caring or compassionate. They only um, made decisions based on emotional impulse, just, you know, emotional impulses. And because you're receiving some sort of, um, you know, recognition, the six of wands. So this person is watching some sort of communication or um, witnessing some sort of recognition or um, award or you know um, I'm hearing celebrity status somebody could look at you like a celebrity even if you don't view yourself as a celebrity I'm hearing somebody is starstruck and then we have an empress in the reverse so this is a mother figure wife lover um, so we have a mother figure um, that worked with the King of Cups. Yeah. <sighs> this mother figure working with your ex is just, yeah. They caused an injustice and they were trying to cause an ending, the death. These people didn't want to grow up. They didn't want things to change. They were trying to stop a transformation from happening, but it's still coming. It's a victory for you and it's a no for them. This came out sideways, so you are on your your way to this carefree energy. If you're not already, you're on your way there. So something is going to happen to cause you to have some sort of victory or win regarding the situation. Because they were trying to stop you. They were trying to stop your movement. They didn't want anything to happen to you, for you. Um, Any time these two caught wind of something good happening for you, they liked to interfere and try to stop it from happening or kill it even before it got started. These addictions and obsessions caused you to be the wounded warrior. They caused you to be seriously injured. Unnecessary burdens, heavily burdens. Um, you were not able to have, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness because of these burdens. And they were intentionally causing the imbalance. I mean, this is just confirmation of what already came out. There's some people talking. There's a group meeting up, talking, um, trying to figure out how to rebalance a situation. Because you may have spoken out some truth about something. Someone's rushing in with the truth with the Knight of Swords. So somebody knows something. The question is, what are they going to do about it? You know what I mean? Uh, but somebody knows the truth about these two working together. And somebody wants to help you. Somebody wants to offer you some flowers here. So somebody wants to be caring and compassionate and empathetic towards you. They may not have been in the past. 
but they want to. Um, somebody sees you as their wish fulfillment here, and um, they could be dreaming about you, having good thoughts about you. Um, you could be dreaming about this person. So this person that wants to rush in and offer some sort of truth um, could be somebody <clears throat> that wants to help you out or um, enter into a relationship with you. It could be that Ace of Cups energy. So, this masculine energy here in the reverse. And there's a message or some sort of communication about somebody traveling and moving. And this involves a flying monkey. So there's some sort of flying monkey that um, could have been eavesdropping or discovered something regarding somebody moving or traveling or heading down a path. And this scares somebody. Now someone's scared. Um, because somebody didn't know that another person was going to step up to help someone. But there's some flying... So, one thing I'm getting is... So, somebody could have found out that somebody wanted to offer somebody some flowers. That they saw them as their wish fulfillment. That, you know, they could view someone as their dream come true. So, they could have made a phone call to send out their flying monkeys to try to stop... Um, someone from being on their path and now they're scared because it di they didn't stop someone from being on their path Someone is still moving forward and someone is still going to have a victory Someone sees through the illusions so the illusions um, Are going away and now that the illusions have disappeared and things are being brought to light um, This is scaring somebody it could be scaring a couple of people especially the ones who worked together against somebody <clears throat> this is the ace of swords again so this is a victory for a high priest or priestess energy <clears throat> some something ran out time ran out for this unofficial person so um something didn't happen in time or um, something didn't get done in a timely matter or somebody just wouldn't stop um and this person was very unofficial um, I'm hearing the time ran out, the clock ran out for something. Somebody wants to be loyal to this high priestess energy. This could also be a judgment going in somebody's favor. Um, and you could be coming out of the wilderness because somebody betrayed you. This unofficial person caused a betrayal. And then we have the queen of swords energy. So someone who is logical, you know, um, earlier I had the king of swords when I split the deck, the king of swords came out and the ten of cups. So that could be your divine counterpart who wants to come towards you with a love offer. Yeah. This could be a judgment. This could be like a judge. This could be a judge going in your favor here. <clears throat> ruling in your favor you may not be expecting this <sighs> yeah somebody was celebrating in the moon somebody was oh my god so somebody was working with you know at least three other people or two two or three other people here in the dark to do something to cause a betrayal here and someone's getting the message so there could be a judge or someone in the court or an official person there's somebody here who's getting educated regarding a situation and some sort of betrayal that was caused, and a group of people that were working together to do this. And this was done by an Ace of Cups in the reverse to stop somebody. Um, you know, this person was not on their correct path. They were not on their path, and they were trying to stop a divine, um, you know, person, a high priest or high priestess, from getting on their path and stopping, trying to stop their wish fulfillment here. Um, so this was an unsuccessful relationship with the Ace of Cups. Um, somebody could also be in bad health as well, and so they wanted to stop someone from traveling. You're going to have this new beginning. You're working towards your goals, or you're going to be starting something that's going to get you closer to your goals. You could have already started down this path. So you've already started, you know, you have some well-wishers here, and you're on your way to Emerald City. So you have a goal, and you're working towards it. So whatever you've set your mind to, you've already started the process to go towards it. And so that is why someone is scared because they know they can't stop you now. Even though someone has tried to stop you. I mean, someone has worked really hard to try to stop something from happening.
watching, you work hard is like watching a scary movie for somebody. Somebody is scared. Um, they're kicking themselves and acting like a baby because they didn't score a goal. They were trying to accomplish something. They didn't get it done in the right time. Um, you know, first of all, they were trying to do something shady. They were in their gold digger energy, jealous energy. Um, you know, trying to take something that didn't belong to them. They were trying to stop you from receiving your flowers, an offer. You know, they were trying to stop you from reaching, um, you know, that point of relaxation and just being happy. That is way too much. comes out of here. So someone in your family was wearing a disguise. They were disguising the fact that they were working against you. Families in the reverse and disguises in the reverse. <clears throat> and I believe that's, yeah, Gemini twins um, could be significant. So Gemini could be significant as well. You know, it doesn't have to be. But somebody in your family was wearing a disguise. Um, they portrayed themselves you know, to be innocent, that, you know, they didn't have anything to do with what happened to you, but that's not the case. Somebody in your family was involved in this, and this is a maternal figure, a mother figure. Um, it can be anyone in your family that is a mother that maybe has children, and they collaborated with your ex to stop you from moving forward, to get something to go against you, possibly to get a judgment against you. This could be involving your children. They were not very smart about doing this, though, with the wisdom in the reverse. So something wasn't done with wisdom, um, especially because they falsified documents. They lied. Um, they weren't. They just weren't smart. I mean, they don't have the wisdom of the ages here. You're being seen as a mystery, and you inspire people. And somebody is trying to figure out why your own family member would have something to do with trying to stop you from moving forward so much, especially if this is a maternal figure. Um, somebody is confused because maybe somebody couldn't understand who would do that in the past. They didn't. They may not have believed you, uh, maybe because it was your mother that was doing it and they have people fooled. So somebody may not have believed you when you spoke out about something, uh, but someone's seeing the truth. Make a decision, work on inner healing. So someone needs to work on inner healing. This is a mother figure, an ex-person that you were with. Uh, both of these people need to go work on inner healing. They need to let go of something. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you. They don't want you to do this. They don't want to let go so that you can have your new beginning. Um, and they're obsessed with this. This has become an addiction. Fate, karma, something ending and something beginning. So they were trying to keep a cycle from closing so that something new could begin for you. They were trying to keep you stuck on that loop, that circle jerk of bullshit, so that you couldn't move forward in life. And then we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in the reverse. So um, one of these people has one of those signs in their birth chart. Um, this is a low vibrational Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, so that could be anywhere in their birth chart. It could be significant. One of these idiots did something during Mercury Retrograde, so that was significant. Uh, maybe something had to be done by Mercury Retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So somebody wanted to repeat the past. You know, the past comes back for a time. Um, so people were bringing up past shit, trying to reopen old wounds. So... Um, Say these people made like false reports against you in the past, made false allegations. They started doing this shit all over again. Um, if you hadn't been to court for a while, if they hadn't drug your ass to court for a while, they could be trying to get something stirred up so they have a reason to take your ass back to court just to cause you, just to be a pain in the ass. I mean, this person just has something to gain from you and they're a gold digger energy. So maybe they want child support or something, or maybe you had an inheritance that they're trying to stop you from getting. I, I mean, it has to, I just don't understand why your mother figure, unless your mother and your ex are sleeping together. I mean, 
why are they working so hard to stop you, you from having a new start or a new beginning and putting blockages in your path? Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles was in the reverse. So um, maybe they got their paws on some money. I hate to say um, they spent some of it because maybe now they're broke. So that's why they could be trying to repeat some sort of cycle because maybe they're broke now and need more money. You may or may not know you have money and not everyone has an inheritance. So don't get pissed off at me. Well, where's my money at? I don't know. I'm just here. Where's my money, ho? I don't know. Go ask your pimp. Don't talk to me like that. Shit. <laughs> Not your sugar mama. Mmm. Someone is sleeping. Sleeping, sleeping, snoozing. So they maybe they thought they could catch you sleeping or snoozing or being lazy. I used to be perfect, now I'm even better. So these people thought they were better than you. Maybe they said you were a prostitute, you slept around. Like, same shit, different day. You know what I mean? Like... I'm just so tired of this energy. They could be upset by the fact that you're sleeping. You could be surprised to find out who's behind something with guess who. So somebody could be hiding behind um, a disguise or a mask. Um, someone in your family may not be who they appear to be. Mm, somebody showed their ass. So, because somebody thought they were better than you, they showed their ass. Oh, yeah, they're sleeping together. Yeah. Whoever this mother figure is and this spouse, ex, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whoever this is, you know, take it how it resonates, they were definitely sleeping together. And they were scared people would find out. Normal people scare me. So, um... One of them went and shook their ass at the other one and <clears throat> hopped into bed there. Um, but they thought they were being sneaky by putting a stop to something. So maybe they stopped doing it or something and they're just being sneaky or they're sneaking around. Um, so maybe they stopped for a while. So normal people scare me. So they could have been scared. So they stopped for a while, but they're doing it again. So someone is being sneaky um, in the upright still. So someone is doing something really underhanded and dirty. Someone thinks they got away with it, maybe because they stopped doing it, or uh, maybe because they're sneaking around and they don't think they're going to get caught. So the money train stopped. So somebody stopped financing the other person. So these two karmics, yeah, they ran out of money, like I said. So they ran out of money, so they're coming back to try to do the same old shit again. See? Hey, baby, I'm back! Yeah, someone's trying to reopen those old wounds, so... This, um... You know, masculine or feminine could have been giving the other one, um... Finances, resources, off of you, off of your money. Money that you had. Um, so this person, um, your ex could be taking you back to take some sort of money um so they could be trying to get a judgment like a child support or like um what is that like well i don't know if they can get alimony if you've been divorced or whatever but i'm hearing like alimony palimony something like that um and this could also be the mother figure who was financing a masculine energy um to do something to you just because they were envious and jealous and they thought they were better than you so i'm seeing it both ways where the you know, one was financing the other. I feel like I want to get a little deeper in there. I would like to check these cards. Yeah, someone's out of options now. So someone doesn't have anything to fall back on. So now they're coming back to you. You know, the one they thought that they were better than. They're so much better than you, but they're the ones that are... <laughs> they talked all this shit about you. Someone's going to be traveling or moving. Um, there's some sort of traveling that's going on, and someone's receiving some sort of communication about this. <sighs> are you fucking serious? Okay, so... Someone is out of options, right? 
So someone made some sort of communication. This is a masculine energy and the reverse. They're trying to sleep with somebody to burn them in a business deal. So there's a masculine energy that's in communication with somebody. Um, and they're moving towards somebody or traveling towards them. But it's in order to hurt them. Um, but they want to sleep with them. So this is somebody who wants to proposition someone for a sexual encounter. Um, you know, an intimate, an intimate encounter. And this is um, to burn them. Yeah, they're working with this group of people. I can't make this shit up if I tried. I knew that was hap I knew that was going to happen. Uh, but someone could be spending some time in hermit mode. Someone could be spending some time alone, and they could realize that they actually want to partner up with another with you. Um, you know, so the person who may have wanted to come towards you to sleep with you may actually like you as more than just a booty call kind of thing. I don't know. This person that may want to come towards you may sleep with a lot of people, and they're coming towards you to burn you. They work with this group of people. Um, this masculine either has a barrier in his path that, that could be because maybe you know what this person is up to, so they got stopped um, from traveling towards you. Or this emperor was trying to do this to purposefully place barriers in your path, which, yeah. So this person... Wanted to come travel towards you, to get in a relationship with you, to sleep with you, to burn you, and intentionally cause barriers. But now this person is stuck from coming towards you because you found out what was going on. Yeah, somebody was watching from behind the scenes, and they thought something was funny. Especially this feminine energy. So there was a feminine and a masculine energy here that thought something was funny. To get someone to communicate with you. But somebody who wants to sleep with you could be walking away from this group. Or this group could be turning away from somebody um, who wants to sleep with you. Because someone is sleeping and then there's a group here. I'm going to pull a few more cards if I can. Yeah, okay. So, there's a group walking away from this person, or this person's walking away from the group because they want to be your lover, and they want to be um, with just you, it looks like. But they're connected. To, okay, so somebody was sent towards you intentionally to get to burn you in this deal this intimate encounter here by a mother figure and your ex um, but it turns out they actually want to be in a relationship with you someone is learning a lesson this came out sideways so someone's learning a hard lesson that time is of the essence and if they don't do something quickly, they're going to lose their opportunity. Something was too tough. Some, somebody couldn't do something. So something was too hard to do. Somebody didn't want to see eye to eye with you. They wanted to give you the kiss of death, but something was too hard. So somebody did this with the intention to give you the kiss of death, like a final final ending, like the Ten of Swords energy for you. And they were trying to use love to do it, like an unrequited love situation. It's like they wanted to break your heart one more time because they thought it would do you in. I guess they think you're a weak-ass bitch, so you know what they can go do. A Virgo could be significant. Someone is as thick as thieves with these people, but you're able to read between the lines and you called them out on something or you're aware of something. 
And that has to do with this winter. And Virgo again. Virgo keeps coming out, man. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. It's been coming out a lot in my last few readings. Yeah, the, this person, these thieves, are in their worst nightmare. Because they didn't want to see things your way. Someone's waiting for the other shoe to drop. Because they know they were beating a dead horse. And you reap what you sow. So karma has to go back and bite someone in the ass. Someone could be getting some 15 minutes of fame here. Because they have to start all over. But you're going to be happy as a clam when you start over. You're going to be happy. Alright, let's pull some letters here. Person, place, or thing to be significant. Letter D. I'm going through the big D and Tolkien ballots. <laughs> Why? E. So dye, D Y E, dye. Hair dye could be significant. Oh. Tie dye could be significant. A. And I heard yada yada yada. Seinfeld could be significant. <laughs> yada yada yada. I can't think of that lady's name. Is it Elaine? I used to say that. A. And E. So I have D Y E N A O A and E. Okay, I hope this helps. Have a good day.